This is one of my favorite recipes, especially if you have never canned before. I really feel like this is a fairly simple recipe that you can follow and successfully can. And who doesn't like pickles, right? My daughter is really in a pickle phase right now. She loves pickles. So this is something that we make every summer here and it's nice to enjoy garden fresh pickles later on in the year when we don't have cucumbers growing. Um, I'll talk a little bit about cucumbers. So if you are growing cucumbers, this is just some, my personal preference, but I really like the smaller varieties. Those usually are better for pickling. They're smaller, they're denser, they're crunchier. Those really long, big cucumbers don't do as well for pickling. So there's like Chicago pickling, Boston pickling. Those are two varieties that I grow every year and they do really well. So right here, I've got some, one little trick, you know, they say if you want your pickles to stay crunchy, all these things, I'll just tell you one thing. If you are growing your cucumbers and you pick them, the side that has the blossom on it, it'll have, it'll be the bigger side. So you'll have like the tiny little part, then the blossom side will be this bigger side. You can just cut that off. Somehow it stops the process of it dying quicker and maybe they'll be crunchier. Again, that's just a personal thing. But we are going to get this ready to can. And so one trick I do, because pickles are all of different sizes and I've got the jar stated in the recipe here and you're gonna like, I stand the pickle up next to the jar to say, okay, is that gonna work? Because for example, this one's taller and then when I cut my slices, it's gonna stick up. So just kind of eyeball your pickle size so that when you are cutting them to place them, you know, in the jar, once it's warm, it'll be the right size. Once you've washed your jars, and have all that part ready, you want to prep your ingredients. So wash your veggies or fruits, whatever you're doing here. We obviously are doing cucumbers, so we have them washed, ready to go, and now we're gonna get them prepped before we do anything else. This specific recipe for pickles is a favorite of mine because it's a low salt dill pickle recipe, and pickles have a lot of salt. We know that, that's why we love them, really, because they're salty, but I think a little bit lower salt version is maybe better. So this is what that recipe is. It calls for a pickling spice, so you can just buy a pickling spice, or I've also made my own that you can have, like at the beginning of the summer, when you know all those pickles are gonna start coming in, I make like a big batch, and then you have it ready to go when you make your pickles. This recipe states that you can place um, your spices in a little muslin bag or something where if you don't want those spices floating around in the pot or maybe when you've finished canning your pickle you don't want those floating around you can just put them in something the flavor will seep out as you cook it but then you can just remove it afterwards and not have them floating in there that's a preference you can do either or but know that that is what that means when you see it in the recipe for any pickle recipe, you're gonna make a brine. In this recipe, I'm using white vinegar, 5%, and I'm using sugar and salt according to the measurements in the recipe. What you're gonna do is put that in a pot and you're gonna bring it to the boil and then turn it down to a simmer. And you're gonna simmer it for 15 minutes to let the sugar dissolve. There is also the little spice bag with um, the spices to kind of infuse that flavor. So since that's gonna take about 15 minutes, I want to go ahead and turn my pot on to slowly warm the jars. So we're gonna turn that on to like a low, medium heat. And then we'll be ready to make our pickles in just a little bit. My brine is ready and my jars are warmed. So we are ready to fill the jars. I'm gonna grab my nifty jar holder. Let's reach in here. Make sure to put it on a towel or a cutting board, not directly on your countertop. And then I'm going to pack in the cucumbers. There's also fresh dill in this recipe. You can put that in as well. Just get them in there. Hopefully you've cut them to the right size. <laughs> okay, 
And then we're going to fill our brine in. Let's put this on here. This might be a little tricky because of the cucumbers. I placed the pickles in the warm jar and I have poured in my brine. So sometimes the pickles, you want them to be below your head space, but when you fill that liquid in, just know they're gonna pop up. So if you push them down, they're at the right head space. For this recipe, it's a half inch. So you're gonna get your tool and you're gonna go all the way around. <laughs> if you need to push your cucumber down, make sure they're at the right head space as well as the brine, okay? And then next we're gonna remove the air. So you're gonna go in, pull this, go down the side, pull into the middle of the jar, go down the side. It's a little harder with the pickles, obviously, but just still do the same process every time. Just to ensure that you don't have air. And then take your washcloth and wipe around. Make sure that is clean. You don't want any debris or liquid where you're gonna seal your lid. Now we're ready to put the lid on. Grab your lid that has been cleaned prior and dried, place it on and we're gonna do the fingertip tight. So we're gonna place our band on, tighten it to where it starts to meet resistance and then just do a smidge more. Get your jar lifter and place your pickles in and then you are ready to do the next one. Okay, we have filled all our jars, our pickles are ready. I am going to cover my pot and turn the heat up. Once it starts to boil, that is when I start my processing time and it will be for 15 minutes. So if you have a pot like mine where you can't see in, a lot of times you can hear when it starts to get louder and boiling. I would just make sure you check, ensure it is, and then you can start your time. The 15 minutes have passed and I am done processing my pickles. What I am going to do is turn the heat off and I'm going to remove the lid and now I will wait five minutes. After those five minutes, I am ready to take my jars out. Five minutes have passed and I am ready to take these out. Yay! You're gonna place it on a towel or wood cutting board, not on your countertop. And you're gonna let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. After that is when you will check to see if the seal is good. But it's so exciting, pickles! Once 24 hours has passed and your pickles are done and sealed, you can totally eat them right away. It's super tempting, it's really fun to eat. Eat the pickles, but for the best flavor, you can wait three to six weeks for everything to marinate in there and then they're gonna be extra yummy. So keep that in mind when you are done making your pickles.